Welcome folks to Sturge's uh, great adventures here in the uh, Entropia universe. I'm going to try to do a little video here from Planet Cyrene, uh, where I've been only about a month, uh, maybe a month and a week, and been playing around and enjoying myself tremendously. Just do a little informational video to start things off and see, uh, show you all the resources as well as the fun you can have here on this fine planet. Uh, let's see, uh, right here uh, I'm currently in the arc staging area. This is where I want to start. I cover a lot of topics. Uh, I'll try to keep it short, which is, you know, can't cover a lot of topics and keep it short, right? What I'd like to show you is how many things there are to do here on uh, planet Cyrene and dispel any myths that there, you might have that it's uh, there's not much going on. There is a lot going on here, and since I've been here, a lot of people, uh, as you can see, yeah, people are landing and playing and having a good time. I really want to cover mostly mining missions to start, because there's uh, there's an abundance of those kinds of things. Um, I also want to cover how quick and easy it is to get Siren mission tokens and mining experience from the brokers up here, the mission brokers up here. Some of these things I've already done. Um, others... Uh, I haven't completed yet. These people here, uh, like I said, I'm at the Ark staging area, which is here, obviously, um, on planet Cyrene. Here's the, the big map. Um, everything you're going to want to do to start when you first uh, enter the planet's atmosphere, if you're not starting as a noob here, I didn't, you're going to enter here, uh, actually at the um, Skylabs teleporter if you're just first entering the atmosphere. And I, tele I would teleport as quickly as possible over to the ARC staging area, where I currently am, and begin by picking up the missions with all of these wonderful people right here. As you can see, the only one I have right now is Requisitions Officer Kevin open, and I'll show you that in just a sec. But you want to pick up all of these missions here, all of these missions here. Everybody will have an exclamation point over their head when you, know, you first enter. All these missions here. Seems like a lot. There are way many more. And let's see. Up here on the uh, the platform, you can see uh, I've already finished uh, Ron Sophocus's, uh item fabricator. I made the shirt earlier. Gives you some tailoring experience. We'll go over that later in the later videos. Will Andrews, he's going to give us a bunch of mining missions, and he's going to give us experience for all those. Prospecting and mining experience. I'm going to hit those right now. Let's just talk to Will Andrews real quick. And he says, BAM! What did you do? Well, I mined up a bunch of it already more. And I'm going to get 0.1 PED worth of mining experience when I do that. Thank you, Will Andrews. I have uh, quite a few of his missions sitting here. Let's not look at completed. Let's look at the mining missions. Uh, oops. Was the crafting? Yes. Mine up. Kaisenite stone, yellow crystal, Zorn star, blue crystal. He also would like you to do iridium stone and green crystal. Um, each one of those will give you a certain amount of experience. Uh, it, they vary uh, over time. Here's uh, James Henry, uh, our loot coordinator. He's like, hey, uh, you're a tough guy, aren't you? Yes, you're right. <laughs> We're going to come by those missions in later. I mean, we can pick this up if we want. Uh, I'll prove it to you. Okay, we can kill some scrap drones. We'll worry about that one later. We're going to kill that mission. Um, let's go over here to the mining bot, who makes a lot of noise. And he's going to say, hey, pal, Sturge, give me some yellow crystal. This is such an easy thing for... Um, Siren mission tokens. Yes, what can you tell me about the nearby area? Yellow crystals, huh? Done deal. I'll be right back. Uh, I happen to have all the yellow crystals I need currently, so let's just give them to him, and then we'll get some get the siren mission tokens here. That's how quick and easy this can be. Once you, um, that's just one siren mission token, uh, but it makes life really easy if you want to get uh, siren mission tokens and get the armor and the weapons and so forth from those. Um, here's another mission we were talking about earlier. Requisitions Officer Kevin wants green crystal. And of course, oh yeah, let's check this out. Yeah, I got some green crystal for you, my friend. Yes, I do. Uh, 
Here's five of them. Okay, great. Be back in 24 hours. That's the best part. You can do this every 24 hours. So I have four Siren Mission tokens in under, what, two minutes? Oh, five minutes. We're going to go to uh, this area down here. So you saw all those missions, all of those brokers. Well, I will give you missions. Those are really quite nice. Uh, and you should get them all in advance. That way you are prepared because many of these missions cross over. Again, here uh, we're going to get Private Jarl, um, uh, Zora. She has missions. The Blueprint Vendor, of course. Get to that later. Mission Token Vendor. For some reason, he's not working right now. Uh, challenge. Let's see. Not the Arc Soldier. It's the guys right here who haven't rendered yet. Wilco, there he is. I'm running on a low graphics setting. Just so I can make wonderful videos. Okay, so you need some blue crystal. Yeah, I got it. No problem, pal. Acquire three blue crystals. Well, just so happens I had them in my inventory. And there you are, sir. Bam. And I get another Cyrene mission token. I want you to see just how quick and easy this is. Uh, when you need to mine for those particular resources, you will be able to go to this island here, and on one side you will get yellow crystal, the other side you will get green crystal, and right down in the middle you will get blue crystal when you are mining. It's quick, it's easy, uh, this island here in particular. Uh, will get you enough resources uh, using just like an F-101 finder. Uh, to last you a month uh, of Sire mission tokens if you do them daily. So it, it's a quick, easy investment. Now let's go over here to the teleporter. And let's show you where else you might want to go. I hate those people that hum all the time. Okay. Back to the arc staging area. We're going to go up north. A little bit. Actually, we're going to come over here to the Ark Immigration Tanhawk settlement. You want to pick up as many of these teleporters. I think most of these on this island, uh, these two islands here, are available uh, right here. These two are all available when you first enter. Many of these other teleporters you're going to need to pick up over time. Um, but we'll get to that as we go. Certainly just flying around or boating around or walking or running and swimming. Great way to do it. More missions. More Sirene tokens. Uh, this gentleman here is going to want some power cores. Crafter Bruce. I'm not going to do his stuff right now. Um, I don't think his tokens are worth, sadly, uh, the resource cost. Uh, but you should do them if you want the tokens. This requisitions officer is going to say, hey pal, um, I need some stuff. I need some Zorn Star ingots. This base needs to be rebuilt. Cool. Sounds good. I gotta get this guy five Zorn Star ingots. Well, I know where to find mine more. Uh, <laughs> I know where to mine Zorn Star, and so uh, right here, five Zorn Star ingots, ready to go. Fifteen Zorn Star ore. Be back in twenty-four hours. That's three. That's uh, three mission tokens right there. Uh, the miner bot here is going to ask for a little bit more Zorn Star. Uh, he says he wants a 5 Zorn Star 4. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see. Yes, I've got it. I'm going to cover where you pick all this up in just a few seconds. Thank you, Zorn Star. Okay, so the Zorn Star ones are pretty straightforward as well. Mining for Zorn Star all over. Um, pretty much everywhere you uh, you go uh, that has you know regular resources. Uh, I believe we got Zorn Star uh, here, all through here, you know here, here, and well, so many different places. I, I've been using a little bit of mining log to uh, get all of the. Uh, locations of all the resources and I find Zorn Star pretty much everywhere I go as much as I find Listerium so that's one of those things there's quite a bit of that on the planet but let's see we've been in this game we've been sh shooting this video here for just a couple of minutes 
We have nine Cyrene mission tokens already. Uh, there are many, many other opportunities for Cyrene mission tokens. And I'm going to show you just a couple more, and then we will uh, we'll go to another couple of different areas to show you what what's available here. There are a few missions you can pick up from these gentlemen here, uh, the Tan Hawk in, uh, representatives. Definitely pick all those up. See an orange dot, run up to it, chat with it. This is a summoning area. Get to that later. Alrighty here. The Ark Ambassador Ravensloft, he wants some um, scrap metal. Get that as you go. These two guys should be, let's see here. The Colonel. Oh, these guys are both have missions where they need Kaizenite. Uh They're not I must I must still be working on those missions. That reminds me of where I need to go. Alright. We need to sh get to the Ark. Um, it's the Tans Tahoe Outpost Teleporter. You're going to have to go, you're going to have to swim to this one or fly or drive, or however you get there from over here. Don't think any of the teleporters along the way. Uh, the Ice Plateau, Outskirts Teleporter is close. And then the Tans Tahoe Outpost. This is where all the ARC missions are. We're going to go do those. Lickety Split. So now that we are here, here we are. All right, a couple of missions once you get to this place. These three, the Ark Terminal, will give you a daily um, iron hunting mission. Requisitions officer here will ask for a specific resource, which will be, oops, just to click on the guy correctly. Hey, pal, can I get some uh, Kaizenite ingots from you? Well, I'll give you some mission tokens if you'll give me some Kaizenite ingots. Well, I brought them with me, because I anticipated that. And here you are. Bam. Come back in 24 hours, and we'll do it again. Very nice. We're up to 15 tokens so far. Um, Scout Tomskin will ask you to go and kill some drill bots. And there are a couple of... There are several, in fact, missions that can concern their daily uh, iron missions, arc iron, uh, arc missions that uh, concern killing of drill bots. Well, if you kill your ten drill bots, you'll have enough kaizenite to give to make um, kaizenite ingots to give to the requisitions officer, and enough to pretty much do it for four or five days uh, down the road every time you do this. So you're going to be collecting a lot of Kaizenite, uh, if you kill the drill bots level 10, they drop blue crystal. That can be used obviously for requisitions officer Wilco, who will give you mission token for your three blue crystal. Let's run down the road here to the ARC terminals and look at the missions that they have to offer. You should get these as early as possible, like I said, because there's a lot of crossover missions, especially in the drill bot category. I think I have three going currently, and I can continue to pick up more uh, once they're complete. So every 24 hours, you're, you're able to do this again. The resources are really quite good. Uh, Arc Faction uh, Daily Missions. This is where it's at, depending on your level. Pick up the mission, uh, the daily mission here. Chat with the information broker here. I'm currently just doing low-level missions. These will give you um, a special token, Arc Faction token. It can be used later for um, other items. We'll cover that. You certainly uh, will get more tokens if you go low, mid-level, high, uh, high to mid-level, and then, of course, you know, Uber. But this is the place to be. Come and pick up all these, all that you wish. Cover, uh, have crossover between all those missions, and... Uh, Get your tokens. Now the mining stuff is the probably the one that's the most important. Like I was showing you earlier. These 
um, not the Arc Faction missions. All this. The Mine Up Kaizenite Stone. Uh, if you get a yeah, 40 pack fine, he's going to give you a 0 .8, 0 .08 PED in mining. You already saw I got the Iridium one. 0 .1. 0 .04 um, in mining skill. So <laughs> we're already at 0 .12 in mining skill. Zorn starting gets 0 .04 PED in mining. 0 .16. So uh, you can see as this goes along, um, prospecting skill 0 .08. And then there's the green crystal, like I said, and you saw the iridium stone. Pick those up, and you will be advancing quite readily, quite quickly, uh, with your mining and prospecting skills right here on lovely planet Cyri. Okay, we're back here at the arc staging area. I wanted to show you one last, or two, little bots here we're going to give you all those arc mining missions these guys here so uh, this guy's going to give you the prospector missions and this guy's going to give you the surveyor missions so you want to increase your um, mining prospecting and surveying all of that is done right here mining uh, with Will Andrews and, um, and you're going to get prospecting from Will Andrews as well prospecting from here and surveying here from these two bots. These mining challengers are pretty straightforward. Uh, I was going to say, oh, no, I want to go here and show you all of the mining missions. For example, crude oil, you're going to find it everywhere. You might as well just pick that up if you're going to do any kind of mining at all. I'm already on the second, uh, I'm on the second one? Yep, I'm on oil right too. So I've and been, you know, 56 out of the 500 finds for the level two. I don't know all of the rewards at the end of this, but there's definitely um, these are definitely worth doing for crossover. Uh, I also have the Listerium rank two. I had a great find, 119 ped on the volcano, which just blew me past all the uh, a great find is what? How many points? It was 100 for the first level. Great is 75 points, so I was at 146 points. You know, in just only a few finds. Uh, so I'm up to the second rank, find Listerium all the time. The only resource I have not found yet is Nosifer. And makes me think Ossifer. It's like you say it when you're drunk. Anyway, <laughs> so the right, Tanite, Yellow Crystal, Zorn Star. I guess you've seen so far, all of these are crossing over with each other. Some of these resources have really good markup, like Rainbow Crystal is 158% markup. Um, all the ships taking off in the background there. It's kind of cool. Um, Purple Crystal has pretty good markup. Um, hazy, blue are okay. Um, Kaizenite doesn't really have much of a markup, but if you're looking just to, to make money, maybe that's not necessarily the way, but Rainbow Crystal definitely will be a uh, good markup, and I know that it does sell uh, in this auction house here. It's one of the other things to, to keep in mind. The auction house here may be uh, slow to sell, but most you, um, usual resources. So if it's, it's used in one of like green, uh, one of the missions here, green, crystal, uh, yellow, blue, kaizenite, ore, and um, zorn star, that sells pretty reasonably, uh, as long as you keep the markup within the, the current range. The um, other crystals do sell. They are used in various blueprints. We're going to cover that way later. For now, we're just going to. Uh, I just want to touch base with the planet, show you some of the things you can pick up. These, uh, what I've shown you so far, will be enough missions to keep you busy for days. And then once you've mapped uh, all the teleporters, as you can see here on this map, you'll be uh, you'll be ready to take off and pick up some of these other missions like uh, the Loot Connoisseur, uh, we've got the uh, the Seeker, and then actually the other one that I, I want to mention, this guy over here is going to want power cores as well. You won't want to do that right away. This gentleman here gives you uh, the Vehicle Master. He's going to give you um, 
a bunch of missions that are going to say look for all of these downed vehicles the pig V um, and so on and so forth I have all of those coordinates uh, that are linkable so that you can cre uh, create waypoints when you're in the game shoot me uh, a private message and I would be happy to send you uh, back the coordinates for all of um, the vehicle masters um, missions that those will get you four blueprints with ten tries apiece for each of those vehicles uh, you really have got to be a pretty good vehicle uh, manufacturer and engineer to get after those um, but that could be something you can do later as you go along you'll pick up all of the resources to uh, and the blueprints to manufacture those vehicles and then you'll have at least a blueprint to, to start with uh, that's about it for now uh, for the first video here I'm going to cover some of this uh, some of the iron missions the fat mission uh, the heart fat mission as well as uh, a few other things uh, swanting good places to swant in later videos well, that's just kind of a quick basic introduction for planet sirene to get you going if you're not a noob if you're sort of a seasoned player and you've just uh, landed here for the first time I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll see you again soon.